President Biden is preparing for tonight's big State of the Union address, but the White House is having to make some major last-minute changes. Fox's Douglas Zader reports from Washington this morning on the events in Ukraine competing with the president's agenda. Every modern president relishes this platform of a State of the Union address, but the threat in Ukraine is impossible to ignore. Mr. President, should Americans be worried about nuclear war? No. Should we be worried about nuclear war? A difficult question as a 40-mile column of Russian tanks and other military vehicles closes in on the capital of Ukraine. The President of the United States. President Biden has spoken to a joint session of Congress before, but this will be his first State of the Union address. There's already a new security wall that's gone up around the Capitol. And White House speechwriters may have been burning some midnight oil on rewrites. This speech um, is a little different than it would have been just a few months ago. Different because the Russian invasion of Ukraine will figure so prominently. Well, he's got to lead with Ukraine and he's got to rally the American people behind the Ukrainian people. Ukraine's resolve in the face of Russian aggression has surprised many. But with some of the most stringent economic measures against Russia coming from European allies, the president will have to make the case for U.S. leadership. But he also has to push a domestic agenda that has run into one roadblock after another. There are growing fears about inflation, lingering COVID concerns, and a pick for the Supreme Court that the president needs to push through the Senate. And his efforts to address climate change and wean the country from domestically produced fossil fuels will be complicated by concerns that the world has grown too reliant on Russian energy. We need energy independence more now than ever before. Now, one thing we may not see much of in the audience tonight, face masks. The White House suggests that the timing of the new CDC guidelines on that is just a coincidence. In Washington, Doug Luzader, Fox News.